So just new run? Yeah, just new run. And the only character you should have is Isaac, I'm pretty sure. And you always play on hard. You never play on normal. Really? Why? What's Greed? Win. Greed is a different mode. There's actually a hard mode of Greed that you need to unlock. You play on hard only because hard mode has unlocks that normal mode doesn't. So you might as well learn on hard. Okay, always do hard? Okay, okay. I see that negative one win streak. I don't I know even you, know. I know you died and closed the game. I know you died and closed the game. That's actually fucking else I, myself, I got to my desk. I was playing it on a Steam Deck in my car. I died. I fucking I had to go, dude. I had to literally go. You're not going to die anymore with me on your team, okay? Here we go. So you go through rooms, you beat enemies, and then you get stuff. What? You where do we? So if right you see the blood on this door, what does that? What? What does that mean exactly? Okay, that's gonna be a sacrifice room. You can walk in there and just see what's going on, but don't touch the spikes. The spikes are for like higher level players. It's like you sacrifice hearts and you can get benefits. Right now, we need to live because I don't think you're gonna be able to survive. Okay, wait, do we shoot, shoot the shit? Yeah. Shoot the yeah. The shoot the enemies first. Always, always uh, enemies first. You wanna clear the room. Oh wow, this shit's fast. Yeah, it's uh, like a bullet hell type thing. Is it because it's a hard mode they're shooting so fast? Yes, yes, actually, genuinely, bullets go faster in hard mode. What the- oh, okay. um... Alright, 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 you've, you've obviously pressed some form of trigger to place a bomb, that's okay. I'll explain bombs later. All we gotta do is get through these rooms. Yeah, shooting shooting the poops, shooting the shit, can give pickups, like, like pennies and stuff. Why won't this fly die? He's invincible, until you break the poop. <laughs> Did the really? That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. So you, we're, we're, you have a shop to your right. You don't want to go inside of it right now. I'll explain that later. But every every floor has one shop and one treasure room. The treasure room is like a freebie item. So we got to go find the treasure room. It's like a golden room. These guys shoot in a, a plus sign pattern. Yeah, be, be careful. It's like kind of random. They take five shots to kill at a base damage. They don't really track you. They kind of just mo like exist. So there you go. What's and then that? Those guys take three shots. They're called hoppers. Star's I got. Card. Okay. What is that? What does that mean? Okay. That card is a instant TP to the treasure room. So just I don't know what the item fucking button is to use a card in, on controller. Instant Press TP the to the treasure room. You said? Yeah, yeah. Use use the. I, I guess someone said right bumper. I don't know controller. There you go. Bite. There you go. Okay, pick it up. Acid tears. Now I'm gonna let you discover what it does first, and then if you don't get it, I'm gonna explain to it. You know, but like a, play with the item. That's the fun of Isaac, okay? You pick up an item, you don't know what it does. You see the subtext, you try and guess what it does, you figure it out. Obviously, you can tell your tears are sometimes different. Yeah. So just shoot things and maybe it'll make sense eventually. That red poop will hurt you. Don't touch it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Could you say that a little sooner? We're in real time. I didn't think right you were just going to walk in the shit. Like, who walked in the shit? I, <laughs> I killed. Well, I removed it from the perimeter. Okay, okay, okay. Red poop respawns and hurts you on contact. Don't touch. There's no point in destroying it. It's just to get rid of an obstacle. Uh, shoot, shoot some of these rocks for fun. You see that? That's your sulfuric acid. That's what oh, you're so I don't have to use bombs. I could just... Exactly. It's actually a really good item. Wait, that's fire. It's... Can I just destroy everything? Is there shit under the yeah. rocks sometimes? Sometimes there's like a 1% chance to get like a super secret like area, like a Zelda thing, a crawl space. Yeah. Um, and sulfuric acid is a small damage up. It's not noticeable, but it is a damage up, and the main effect is obviously the rock destroying. Um, should I go in the shop? I don't have any, I have five coins. Uh, you know what? Go in the shop because I'm gonna teach you a mechanic. So, shop items take 15 cents. So typically we don't go to the shop unless you have 15 cents because there's no point, right? Uh -huh. it, it, eventually it'll take a key to go to the shop, so you don't waste the key. But you'll see in the top left there's a donation machine. Yeah. That machine, you donate money and you'll unlock items and upgrade your shop. So we're gonna dump all the money in there. So doing that will unlock items and it will upgrade your shop too. So, so this saves per at, at your file. Yes, your donation machine is file based, so you want to get it to a thousand eventually. It'll upgrade your shop. It'll unlock items. It's very important. All right, did we go up already? Oh, I think I did, but I TP'd. Yeah. Okay, here's what you're gonna do now. You're gonna shoot directly up into the wall above you, even though it looks like nothing. Yeah, right there. Careful that bomb. Uh, at the center, like the yeah, right. Yeah, keep shooting there. Just, just keep. I'm, I'm not trolling. Okay, it looks like I'm trolling. I swear I'm not. Okay, uh, <laughs> I'm go gonna ahead. call liar. You're, dude. Gonna, you're, you're, you're gonna go to the right. You're gonna go fight the boss. Trust me. It'll make sense later. I swear to God, I'm not lying. Just fight the boss for now. <laughs> Listen, fight the boss. <laughs> Why are you wasting everyone's time, man? I'm not, wait, I, dude, I, I swear to God, I'm not wasting time. I thought it was a secret room. I swear. <laughs> you are trolling, bro. Okay, Dingle, this guy has a charge attack. He's gonna like scrunch his face and charge at you three times over and a, a three burst attack. There's the scrunch, one, two, and then three. Then he's gonna get tired for a sec. 
He also has a three burst attack, like a three tier. So just be aware. Right there. When he whistles, he shoots three. And that's it. That's the whole boss. How bad are the minions? Not bad. I would honestly ignore. Oh. So eventually when you get good, I would say like a new player for Isaac, if they're dodging a three burst shot, they should just go wide. Eventually you'll learn how to dodge in between, right? That way you keep your DPS. Because if you're going wide, you're not shooting him. But if you dodge in between, you'll keep shooting. I see. Yeah, but yeah, I see that. See how you have more DPS. All right, nice. Just finish off the minions, the dips, whatever. Every time you beat a boss, you get an item. That's a great item. That's a tears up. When game says tears up, it means your fire rate goes up. So you'll notice you shoot oh, faster. Oh, sick, dude. And now yeah. I do this like James Sunderland? Jump down yeah, the you hole? Just, you go down the hole into more psyche. More psyche? What What do you mean? Like like Isaac is losing his mind. So it's representing him like going Oh, it's just like time. Silent Hill. It's actually just like it. Yeah, 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 exactly. Okay, okay. Cool. You do it again. You find the treasure room. You find it. Well, you don't have money for the shop, but you know, same thing. Okay, it goes on the a in the angle. My tears. Yeah, not, like, you'll, you'll hit. You'll, yeah, yeah. So when you're moving, you'll hit diagonals like that. Eventually, you'll get really good at hitting diagonals. Like you can do like what you were trying to do right there. That is something you can do. It's just you have to get used to the arc and stuff. Yeah, this game is very Zelda inspired. You'll notice. So you see how you need a key to go to the treasure room now. So it's always worth to go in. You always go in the treasure room. Every single floor. It's a free item. That's great. HP, HP damage up, speed down. Okay, speed down is fine if it means you get the other shit. Yeah, I would say it's worth. You see how the pots can sometimes drop pennies too. So oh yeah, it is just exactly like Zelda. Oh, oh the I'm game hello? is literally modeled after Zelda. I didn't warn you for that. Sorry, pots can drop pennies, but sometimes. Nice coaching, items. bro. Nice coaching, man. All right, all right, okay, okay. Oh nice. So you, you did a room and you got a random pickup. You got a heart. That's nice. So let's go to the shop now. We are gonna waste the key for it, but it's important. I, let's try and get to ten on the donation machine. Whoa. So donate four more cents. What's this game rated? Uh, M. Really? It's, yeah, it's just like Silent Hill. A blue map has appeared. So when it says a something has appeared in the basement, that means you have unlocked an item that you can find. So you don't know what that item does, but when you find it, you'll be like, oh, what is this item? You pick it up, you figure it out, right? Yeah. There are 700 items to unlock. <sighs> okay. So, All right. So that was just something you could do, right? Uh, the rest of this, I don't think, really matters too much. What's you that 15 cent one? Uh, it spawns items that you can use, but you don't have enough money. Is Strength PP card is like a big buff game. for the room, basically. You can use that for the boss. Can I refund if I don't want it? Nope. I didn't tell you to buy it, so I mean, I don't you know. You didn't did tell that. me not to walk over it either. <laughs> There's no confirmation. It's okay, okay. Like... When you, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're, you're right, right. When you walk over a shop item, you buy instantly. I, I forget you're like literally, you know, fucking zero. My bad. <laughs> All right, let me let me break down these San Francisco poops. The the higher your luck stat, the higher chance of the sulfuric happening. Oh shit, where's my luck stat? It's the clover on the left. Okay. So right now it's zero, okay. so it's happening at a base amount, but you can increase it. Okay, so now we're gonna go back to the previous room, and I'm gonna do the thing that sounded like it was trolling before, but now it definitely won't be. Shoot up. Cause there's a crack right there on the left. Where? No, no, no. But I'll, I'll explain it. I, I promise it's gonna open up. There you go. It's a secret room. Holy fuck. Whoa. Okay. Alright, you can go ahead and buy the mom's box, actually. Back in the shop. It was this way, I think? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, there. I have a map. So, again, all shop items are 15 cents, so that's good. It's a four-room charge. It's a passive one luck up when you're holding it. And when you use it, I don't know how to use active items on controller. Again, sorry. Uh, RB, right bumper. Uh, So use it, then. Good. Okay, that's wrong. That's the card. You want to use the active item. Or L LT. Oh, no. Chat's trolling. <laughs> okay. All right. You just bombed yourself. <laughs> <laughs> one of them, one of them, one of them, you, you, there you go, there you go, there you go. <laughs> I got so a whipworm. Whipworm. That's a, just a tiny bit of a shot speed up. That means your tears are going to go faster. It doesn't affect DPS. Why am I huge? That's because you use the b the buff card for the, remember I told you. Is, the that a, is there a time limit on that or? No, for the room. Remember I said for the room. That's why you save it. So once you leave this room, oh, you Oh, that's that cringe, bro. Okay, okay. But I, whatever. First run. Whatever, man. Whatever. Yeah, yeah. You were getting used to the controls. So basically that mom's box gives you a luck up. Dude, and this thing is fast as hell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll be fine. This is literally the easiest boss in the game. <laughs> he shoots a spurt of tears and sometimes jumps. When he lands, he'll spawn more tears. Oh, does he looks like someone. I He looks like. Uh, oh, never mind. Whoa, that's a lot of tears. Okay. Phase two? E easy, oh, easy, easy, easy. Yeah. Monstro's Tooth has appeared in the basement. Nice. That is a great item. Pick it up. This one's going great. Cat or Nine Tails? Uh, do I use it? I use it automatically or? So some items are passives. Some items are actives. The mom's box you got is an active. So you have to use it, right? 
Uh -huh. So the item you got just now is a passive. It just helps you. Damage up, shot speed up. So it's going even faster. You see your tears are getting bigger now because you're doing even more damage. Uh, I'm going to do some like high level stuff now. You see that on the bottom left? It says 100%. There's a, like a devil icon on it. Yeah. That's called a devil deal. The, those spawn after you beat the boss. Their chance can get lowered. The way it lowers the chance, even though you have 100% right now, is if you take red heart damage. So let's say all your blue soul hearts get removed and you take damage and you dip into your red hearts. Mm -hmm. That deal chance will go down to like 36, really low. Okay? okay so that's the, that's the point of the soul hearts is to protect your deal chance. You want to spawn that because the items in there are really good. So just don't get hit. Yeah, so literally it rewards you for not being bad. So try your best to get to the boss without taking red heart damage. That's, that's insanity, bro. I don't expect you to, but that's, uh, yeah, I'm telling you. This, this side. These guys chase you, just run away. They don't do anything else, promise. Can you kill them? Yeah, yeah, they'll respawn if you don't like finish them off, but that's it. Oh, okay, so run away? Yeah, run away and then... I can't, that door is locked or what? Yeah, you have to, you have to beat the... The room. There you go. So you see, now you've done four rooms, and your mom's box is charged on the top left. And what did that do again? That uh... that spawns a little thing that you can have as a passive. So just use it. They're called trinkets. Oh, oh, dude! I didn't even fucking see it. There you go. So that's another trinket. Endless, nameless. I'm stuck in a loop. That one uh, is like you know those cards you've been using. Uh, yeah. Sometimes when you have Endless Nameless on and you use a card, it can respawn the card over and over again. So which one do I go with? That's up to you. Honestly, I don't think it even matters. Both these are pretty bad. <laughs> so the room below you is called a mob challenge room. Why do you know when that? Because it has a sword there? Yeah, it's just it's just what it looks like. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it has mob to look challenge. like... Okay. Um... Walk in there and there's going to be like a chest or maybe multiple chests or whatever. Just walk in. Don't worry. Nothing bad's going to happen. It is up to you. And I wouldn't right now because these are golden chests. They take keys to open. When you have a mob challenge room like this, it's up to you to open the chest and then you have to fight three waves of enemies. That's like a risk reward type deal. Uh, I don't think it's worth for you right now because, you know, you wouldn't even be able to open both of them. You'd only open one. And we want to save the key again for what? The treasure room. That's a guaranteed item. You always want it. All right. Let's then we go here. Yeah, just keep exploring. These guys uh, charge at you. Whoa. And those fat ones shoot bullets. But you see how your damage is really high? So oh, you keep they have the they have butts. That's yeah. funny. <laughs> These uh, flies explode on death. Be careful. They'll take about three shots for you to kill right now, I think. They don't chase me. Yeah, no, they just they they do the DVD thing where they just go around. <laughs> yeah, good way to put it, coach. <laughs> is there? Can you fall? Can I like? No, no, no. You can you can hold. It won't do anything. That's a better one. Liberty cap, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. That's a Yoshi's Island reference. Sometimes oh. it'll just give you high ref, uh, high uh, DPS like per room, which is better. All right. Form. Okay. What about this chest? So you see how it's kind of bloodied? Yeah. Walk up next to it, but don't open it. See that? It's a fake one. It's like a mimic. You it can is. open it still, but like it would cost a half a heart to open it. So it's your decision. No, I'll keep my armor. Okay. No red health damage. Yeah. Uh, do, do I go left? Always. If you see the treasure room, you go to the treasure room. Always. That is skinny odd mushroom. I didn't tell you to pick it up, but you know, fuck me, I guess. It's cool. Uh, it's going to be a huge tears up. You're going to shoot really fast. No, it looked like I had to pick it up, bro. <laughs> it just looked like it was. I had to do it. It's a, it's a really good item. I'm a fan of it. Don't forget to keep using your mom's box. I'll tell you if the trinket that drops is worth taking, but just, you know, keep using it off cooldown. It's just a good habit to have. Don't take that. Increases the chance of red hearts dropping. So you can only sleep. hold one at a time, always. Unless, yeah, unless you have an item that makes it so you can hold multiple. Okay. Yeah, just keep moving. You're doing great. You're not taking red heart damage. You're doing okay. You're not taking red heart damage. <laughs> uh, so when you, yeah, do these mushrooms, when you blow up these mushrooms, uh, sometimes they can explode. Oh, I got an achievement. Yeah. What's that blue shit? Blood. Okay, so these are pills. You have a black and white pill and a blue pill. Sometimes pills are good, sometimes pills are bad. It's the same button to use as a card. It's up to you if you want to use them. Why I always look, use them. Why do I look like that? Because every single item you pick up it changes Isaac's appearance. So, you know, it looks cool at the end when you have a bunch of different eat, items. Lene said eat them. Yeah, eat the pills, whatever. They're Which fine. one? Both of them? Both, both. Fuck okay. it. Range down. So you're, you Thanks, range Lene. Down. Thanks a lot. Okay. I'm telling you to do this one. That's what tough. The? All right. So you lost a heart container. It is what it is. Welcome to the Binding of Isaac. I wouldn't even even made those decisions. Okay, okay, okay. Now, 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 now. I'm going to teach you. Like, for real, for real. Shoot, like, the same way I was telling you about the wall. Down and left. And I'm going to tell you why this works. Down okay? and left. 
So yeah, shoot down. Well, maybe that's not actually a secret room. Shoot to your left. Hey, there's one of them. The other one was not. Uh, I'll find the other one for you. There's two secret rooms per floor, and I'll show you how to find them later. That's good. That's like an upgraded uh, armor heart, soul heart. All right, cool. Imagine I had that and like the rest of my fucking health. <laughs> yeah, and some range. That would go yeah, hard right now. Yeah, dude. <laughs> okay, okay, hell? big. You're going to go fight the boss because you have armor for your red health. You're not going to lose red heart damage. I mean, it could be a boss that shits on you, but you have 100% deal chance, so try not to lose it. Mega, Mega fatty. fatty. Oh my okay. god. He, he, he jumps up and tries to land on you. And other than that, just stay far away. He can't really do anything. So you're going to see that you're going to get a deal here, guaranteed. You what see that on deal? the right? So that's a devil deal. A devil deal has good items that you maybe pay hearts for. Don't leave the boss room. Oh, nice. You unlocked a new character. Nice, dude. Okay, don't you leave have, the boss you have room. To go to the, yeah, don't leave the boss room. You have to go to the deal first. If you leave, it'll despawn. So we're just going to see if there's any good items here. Those are really good. Okay, so you see how like you have to pay a heart to buy both of these? Yeah. Okay, we're going to buy both of them. I'm going to tell you what they ha do beforehand so you just know what you're getting into. The left one is really broken. It's Dark Bum. Yeah, Dark Bum makes it so that he takes a red heart on the floor. <laughs> he wants to take your life. Yeah, he's, he's just a little, he's a little goober. He takes red hearts on the floor and converts them into soul hearts or black hearts. Okay, and what's this fidget spinner? That's a damage up and speed up and a bit of a, a temporary HP up. It gives you a black heart. So it pays back for itself, but gives you a... Uh, and what damage. is this chest? A red chest, it could have anything. Sometimes spiders, so just open it walk away. Oh my god, it's an item. Take it! Oh my god, it's Guppy! Oh! Big, you're gonna keep that item. Devil deals have Guppy items, okay? This is why I named my cat Guppy. Guppy items, there's a lot of them in the game. If you can find three of them, you get the transformation Guppy. You turn into a cat and you basically win the entire run. It makes you OP. What? Yeah, so there's transformations and stuff for getting certain sets of items. Oh, And cool. the Guppy transformation is the best. So, okay. do you, I use that with the... Uh left trigger or whatever you use the mom's box with yeah so guppy's head spawns flies for you these guys are friendly they'll home in on enemies they scale off your own damage they're really broken guppy's head is only a one room charge you see how the charge is only one yeah so it's a it's really good because every single time you do a room you get to use it again you've basically just given yourself some pseudo homing it's and really what, good and what does the dark bomb <laughs> do? the dark bomb you get, go back to the rest of the floor and find a red heart you see on the map there's some red hearts so there, see how Dark Bomb went straight for it? Yeah. And he took it. And you're gonna go find more red hearts. Once he has one and a half, it might be more actually, it might be two, but whatever. Once he has one and a half, he has a chance to pay back with a black heart. He could also damage you, so back up right there. So he can spawn spiders. Just be aware. If but he gets he enough hearts. Yeah, well, it's like a chance. Once he's got enough hearts, he'll have a chance to do something. But it's really good because you're not using those red hearts anyway, you know? So. Do I go into the sacrifice room? Fuck it, use it. I believe in you. You're playing well. There you go. Red chest again. Could help, could hurt. There you go. Spider. So bad luck, whatever. You move on. Okay. Well, that was all the hearts that were here. Uh, Shoot above you. The same way, the wall thing. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to explain how this works. Because I keep telling you to just do it. Uh, That chest is fine. You can open it. You're just getting rewards. These items that are question marks that play a sound effect when you find them are called secret rooms. Okay. Uh huh. Secret rooms are usually found by bombing the wall. But you're lucky you have sulfuric acid. So you can kind of just cheat, right? To find secret rooms, there's two ways. There's two secret rooms. Technically, there's three, but that's a secret. The first secret room, which is normal, which is the one you're in, the regular secret room, has to be surrounded by three or more rooms. So if you look at the map, you see how it's kind of like in a little bit of an alcove. So let's say technically another place the secret room could be is under the treasure room. You see how it kind of looks the same? Yeah, so that's how you find secret rooms. And it's just going to get more and more used to it. You're, you're going to get more used to it. The one that's next to the boss, you see how it's kind of faded? That's a super secret room. The rules for that are opposite. It can't be connected to anything except one room. So you see how that kind of works on the map? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, nice. So below you is a rare spawn. That's actually really lucky. And to the left of you is a treasure room. This is a library. It has books. Uh, the <laughs> books can do different things. Is that what know. they got in there? All right. If you pick up three books, you get the book room transformation. It gives you a passive buff. So pick it up and uh, use it? You don't have to use it. I'll tell you what but it does. But I can does. only Telepathy pick up one at a dumb. time? Yeah, yeah. You can only have one active at a time unless you have an item that lets you take multiple. Telepathy for dummies is homing shots for a room. If you want, you can go to the next room and see how it feels. Maybe you like homing more. Think up his head. Does left... Tr oh, treasure room? Yeah, go to the treasure room first, too, as well. That's just uh, bigger shots, I think. Yeah, you look you look wild. Shoot for a sec. Your shots will look different. I look in... I, this is more Link shit. So, so go to the next room whenever you want, and then just pop telepathy, and then you'll see uh, the... Uh, fuck, left trigger? Whatever the mod, yeah, see. Then just start shooting. You see how it's like homing now? 
So it's homing for a room. So once you leave this room, you'll lose the, lose the homing buff. But telepathy for dummies is only a two room charge. So it's actually pretty good. You know, it's homing every other room, basically. Oh? Okay, okay, okay. Don't fucking move. This room kills noobs. Like, it destroys them. Because, like, how the hell are you supposed to do this? I'm going to teach you how to do it, okay? You're going to walk out of the room and then walk right when the spikes go down. <laughs> That's it. So walk in, wait for the spikes to go down, and leave. There you go. Yeah, fuck the cycle. Just reset the room to get the good cycle. Shop below, so we might as well go in. You have 15 cents. You could buy the item. What is that it? Is it good? Is not that good. It recharges your active item, so it would recharge your telepathy for dummies, but obviously we don't need that. Should so I make that? Need... Should I dump it in the safe? Dump it in the safe so you upgrade your shop, you unlock more items. You say it's 15 or has it be 20? Mr. Pro. It, it'll be random increments. So just hold up into it. It'll speed up. Yeah, just like that. It'll get faster and faster. There you go. Level so one. Next... Yeah. So the next shop you go into will have more items. Oh, so sick, dude. Yeah. Is there lore on the guy who's dead? Yeah, it's Isaac. Oh, it's just like Silent Hill 2, dude. So a little bit. Hey, yo, oh, 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 gaming. What is he shooting at? What is he aiming at? <laughs> it's homing, bro. Why, why did he need some hope? <laughs> Honestly, go back for Guppy's head. I promise you it's going to be better. Do what? Guppy's head. You left it in the library. You switched it for telepathy for dummies. Go back to the library and take Guppy's head back. It's a better item. At the very beginning of the floor. Dude, that, dude that's a Go big... to the library. <laughs> and don't run into any spikes that might be on the way. I don't know if there's any spikes that were left behind. There you go. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay. Walk back out the room the same way you came back in. It's the exact same strat on how to traverse. You you reset the cycle. When spikes go down, you, you leave. You know what I mean? You go, you, well, I mean, you go down. I don't know what? why the fuck you went out to fight a mini boss. I didn't say to I do didn't that know there was a fucking mini boss up there, dude. What do you mean, I bro? Say, I didn't see it go up here at all. I don't know why you went down here. Like, what the hell? Oh, you popped a bomb too? I said go to the library. <laughs> dude, I literally thought it was going to be over there. Just it's okay. I got this. I got this. I got this. Hold on. Look, I got this. And now. Big, big, big. What? And then, and then use the pill. Use the pill. Okay. It's going to be like game over. <laughs> No. <laughs> oh. Well, I mean, I didn't. Okay. I only have one. Yeah, it feels red. Uh, it's. It, do you remember shoot to whoop old ass reference? You yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. I so remember. use it and then press press the shoot button. Use it and then shoot. <laughs> Speed strats. These guys oh, shoot a giant laser. Oh. Don't be in their path. Don't. Oh, oh. I, I can't. I mean, how could I what say that? What the? Place? Bro, that's the the uh, bot, the dragon boss on. <laughs> Elder yeah, 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 yeah. That's, bro, I mean, that's, hyper that's, beam. Give me that's, a heads that's, up, man. Yeah, I mean that's literally that's I mean that's literally an <laughs> anus and a vagina <laughs> shooting blood at you. I don't know how else I could have said that in time. Other yeah, things. don't forget you got his head. That's just free. It's, it's free. Literally free. There you go. See. Oh, then cool. you use it again. I got I got yo. Uh, is that six? I mean they're moving around, man. That's sick. I, do they, I think it's six. I'm pretty sure the cap is 64, so never hold back. What? Cool. Okay, that is a piggy bank. When you get hit, you spawn coins. It's pretty useless right now. It's better later on. Up to you if you want to buy the pill. Otherwise, I would say just donate your money. Honestly, donate all of it. Fuck it. Oh, okay, cool. Speed up. That's great. These guys TP and shoot one single bullet. I am, I am a Sonic the Hedgehog. Holy. Yeah, uh, having high speed is good, but not when you're not used to it. So I don't blame you if you get hit and die. It's not your fault. You're not used to the. Hey man, if there's no way to like fall off the map, <laughs> I think nah, I'm nah, chilling. You're, you're good. You're good. Dude, my right eye, dude. Okay, then he finds Polyphemus and then I scream for him. That's, it's fine. Honestly, half the. Oh, you got a transformation. What? So you collected three items that have. What the does word this knife them. do? It sometimes hurts people. It like follows your back. It's like a passive you got from having the transformation. Okay. Boss time? Well, I admit, there's still one room I never went into. At this point, it's your decision whether or not you think it's risk reward. Maybe you'll get value more than you losing HP to explode that room. I don't have that call because I'm not going to judge your own skill level. What do you mean? Just I'm saying I don't it. know if you're going to get hit and then lose it. Oh my god, he's going to get hit. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Leave. There's here. nothing here. There's nothing here. Obviously, I was just looking, man. <laughs> all right, let's go. These guys charge at you. That's all you need to know. The lower HP they are, the faster they charge. It's pretty sudden. It's like that. Keep your distance and just shoot them. Nice. One more. You're cracked. Easy. You might spawn a deal. 23% chance, probably not. But I mean, like, what would you even take? You're one HP. 
That's okay. That, that was a good fight. Honestly, for a double trouble, it's strong. Powerful. Nice. Pop the guppy's head again. That's a tears up and shot speed Did up. These spiders not die? They're your friends. Okay, blues, okay. Blues, blues friends. Like blue fly. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Blue spiders are good. Blue flies are good. Uh, and then you got you got you just got to do one more, one more floor. That's it. Oh, run, run, oh, run, run, run. oh, what are you waiting for? <laughs> what are you hear. waiting I for? I can't hear. I can't what hear. I can't hear. What the fuck, hear. dude? I can't hear. Okay, okay, okay. If you ever hear, <laughs> those hands come down literally like Master Hand in Zelda. Literally like Master Hand. So they're, they're really easy masters, to deal with. Four Masters, I think, right? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Wall, ma my, 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 wall, wall, wall Masters. Wall Masters. Wall Masters. Yeah, literally the exact same thing. So they're really easy to deal with. They just have a sound cue. I couldn't hear it because I have the stream muted. Sorry. You just run around. <laughs> Bro is dwindling his thumb. There you, oh my god, you got it. Remember when I said you got like a 1% chance to get something? Yeah. Oh my god, he took the fucking heart. Dark Bomb took your heart. That sucks. This fucking, this guy is taking heart. everything. Oh my god. Okay, fine. You, whatever. Go th there. That's the 1% thing on the top left. That's a crawl space. You got it. Like you broke open a rock and you were like, oh my god, I got the thing. Rare. Could be good. Uh, you know what? Just fucking leave because I don't trust you to do this. <laughs> What is the, the item is thing not it's, it's not good enough is what it is. It's not good enough. Okay, I, all right. <laughs> nice. Oh my goodness. You're saved. Save. Uh, okay, that heart? Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can buy that soul heart. That'll give you a little bit extra maybe. And then donate the rest. Again, just keep donating. Whenever you can, just donate. Please. Oh, oh my god. Oh, okay. All right. All right. All right. So, <laughs> you, you, you blew off. it up. Okay. You blew it up. <laughs> you blew it up. When you blow it up, you can't <laughs> donate to it anymore for the rest of your life. Bro, I hit the... Bro, I just... Okay, I... I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. I'm lying. You can't donate to it for the rest of the run, okay? <laughs> you lose some donation. It's probably at like 32 right now. And <laughs> you can't donate to it anymore. That's fine. Okay, this is big, but it's going to be a little precise, okay? We... I need you to go around slowly and slowly. Usually I would do this a different way, but whatever. You need to play this guy. You need to give all him all of your money. Because he could pay out with an item, and you have the money for it, and you don't have any more shops left, so, you know. Can I break so that rock in front of him? It, that's what I was going to say. This can be... You can make it easier. Just shoot, and then it's gone. And then you can just sit in that space. And then just keep touching him over and over. Until <laughs> he gives you what you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I see where the M rating came from. Big payout? No. Oh, oh, yeah! oh, oh, he fucked you over. I'm not gonna lie, he fucked you over big time. Like that was just a fucked situation. What's okay, this? That's a that's a fine. It's a passive DPS up. Whatever. The super secret room is probably the room above you. Uh, like straight up. So, I'm sorry. I guess to your left and like leave this room. Go to your left and then go upwards. Go 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 up one room. Yeah, and then shoot up. There you go. You have to use these. Bad gas, whatever. <laughs> what is that? Don't use the rate. You have to read what it does. Okay, okay. Here's the mechanic. Bombs if you are key. If you have used the pill, you'll know what it is from now on. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so if you've okay, used the rage see, down, you never have to use it ever again. What did the bombs are key one do earlier? It switches bombs and keys. Did it? Okay, so. So you would I'll have. Get, I don't. I don't want it. How do I get rid of them? Just get another pill. Uh, there's a button you can hold, which I don't know what it is on the controller, but amnesia. amnesia. No. Uh, bombs are key. More bombs are key. Okay. Whatever. So. Just pick up the the Empress card that you left on your left. Do not, under any circumstance, walk near the doors. Her hand will come out, and she will instantly hit you. He, he did the one thing I said not to do, and he didn't do it. Dude, I'm oh, really God, fucking fast, bro. I'm really fast, okay? It's my first time, bro. I'm really fast. You got it, you got it, you got it. Easy. Yeah, just keep shooting. I, you're dealing damage to her eventually, and you gotta hit the flesh stuff. It's Resident Evil. It hurts, please! Oh my God! What? <laughs> <laughs> Chill out, bro. <laughs> No, <laughs> bro, it's okay, bro. Anyway, once you beat that boss, uh, that no longer becomes your final boss. You unlock two more floors that you have to get to, and that will be your final boss. But then, once you've beaten that final boss ten times, you unlock two paths to go up or down, and those will be your final bosses. When you beat those final bosses five times, then you have the ability to go even further. Once you've beaten that final boss, then you unlock another final boss. Also, when you beat the game in 30 minutes, you'll have a different final boss. Also, when you beat that final boss, you unlock another final boss.
Also, there's another final boss, and I'm not making this up. <laughs> you beat all final boss? I'm not making this up. You beat all final bosses with every single character, and you unlock everything, and that's Isaac. Oh, I see, I see. That was kind of fun, man.